Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Chandra and today I'm going to show you how to divide a class into groups and assign each group to a subject and it should happen at the same time like this. All right. First, you got to ensure like now I'm going to use that a subject for Pandidikan Islam and Pandidikan Moral. So it can be any other subjects. It could be bio and accounts, or it can be KMT or ERT, anything. So in this case, you must ensure that there are two subjects. One is Pandidikan Islam and one is Pandidikan Moral. In this case, do not use Pendidikan Islam slash moral anymore. Okay? So once you have ensured that there are subjects of Pendidikan Islam and moral, go to classes, click on a class, click on divisions. Okay? Under divisions, click add division. Click add division click enter the name of the group so group 1 should be PI for Pandidikan Islam and group 2 should be PM for Pandidikan Moral so this group should relate to the subject the students will be taking okay just make sure that the name of the group is not too long Try to go to maximum of three letters. Okay. So click OK. So now you have done a group or rather you have created a group for class three checkup. So now you have to go and do for rest of the classes. So instead of going to rest of the classes and creating one by one, you can click in this group here, then go to copy to. See this? Click on copy to and choose all the classes. It really doesn't matter whether the particular class has this particular subject or not. It doesn't matter. Just choose all the classes. Why choose all the classes? Because it's easier. In this case, we have eight classes, so you can choose one by one for each classes. In most cases, you have so many classes. So instead of choosing one class after one class, you just go to choose all and click all and click OK. And click OK. So once you have done that, you just got to go to that particular class, click on lessons click on new lessons choose a teacher for that particular subject so in this case we are going to do pandirikan islam so we choose the teacher who will be teaching pandirikan islam choose the subject pandirikan islam Choose the class which is already chosen and then here choose the group that will be taking this particular subject. So in this case will be group PI. How many times a week? I have choose one triple period. Where will the class take place? It will be taking place in the Sura. Click OK and click OK. So now you have done for Pandikan Islam. In case you forget to put for other classes or other for Pandikan Moral, the corresponding group, or your grouping is not balanced, like in this case you put one triple period, but for Pandikan Moral, 
you put one double period. A mistake. So what will happen is, it will show here as a star. So once you see the star here, please know that what you have done is not balanced. So you can either ignore it or you can go and rectify it. So when you want to rectify it, click new lesson and choose the teacher who will be taking Pandirikan Moral, Subject Pandirikan Moral, one triple period, and they'll be taking it in their class. So click OK, click Close. Close. So once you have done it, click Test. Okay, in this case, they are saying you have a problem here. What is this problem? Oh, you don't have a space. Okay, click on test. Click yes. Testing is successful. Click OK. And start your timetable generation. You will see your Pandirikan Islam and Pandirikan Moral is taking place at the same time on the same day. The rest of it we have to key in ourselves, but we have not done it. Okay, this is how you do for two subjects at the same time or three subjects at the same time. Okay. Thank you. If you like this video, <coughs> do click like.